put this on last night not expecting to like care about it or get into it at all and then I ended up stuck watching like four episodes um so I just fed and changed him and I was trying I was gonna try and put him in his swing so that I could get some cleaning done. But as soon as I, as soon as I sat up and started to change him, my stomach started to hurt. And I'm terrified because it's the same pains that- Fish, mommy, fish. Yeah, it's the same pains that um I was getting the other day that lasted for like two hours and had me in tears like in excruciating pain feeling like i was in labor all over again i'm terrified that i'm about to be in pain for a long time again and it hurts so bad and it's hard to concentrate especially when he's fussing so he's really fussy whenever it happened the other night and trying to hold a baby and soothe a baby when you're in so much pain is really hard. So I need to take some time at all. And hopefully it won't take too long to kick in. But it took a while to kick in the other night. So, yeah, I'm pretty uh, scared right now. Because I hate pain. Especially whenever you have a baby to take care of and you have stuff to do. Yeah, it hurts. toilet for a minute even though it's unrelated and then I took Tylenol and then I sat here with this ice pack on my stomach for a while um, I don't know which one of those things if anything was what helped but luckily it didn't last as long this time as it did the other night because two hours of that constant pain was literal hell like my, I wasn't even in that much constant pain whenever I gave birth, I don't think. It's like I wish I could get answers so that I hopefully wouldn't have to keep going through this. But it's like I'm just too scared of going to the doctor for it because I feel like they never listen and I'd just be wasting my time. But it's like I definitely don't want to waste time going to the emergency room and have to wait forever. Literally, they take way too long. That would be absolute hell with a newborn. Um, but then, like, I don't know if this was something that I could go to the OB for because I'm only three weeks postpartum. And I only have seen an OB. I don't even have a primary care provider. Like, the o I've only seen an OB for the past, like, four years, probably. So I don't know if they would even be able to do anything or if they would just be like, yeah, that's not our area. So you got to go somewhere else because I don't even have a primary care phys physician. I'd have to go through the process of finding one and then waiting for them to have an opening, which they could be booked. They could be booked out pretty far. And then also it's too hard for me to get into the doctors because 
Christopher is working now, so he's gone. He's gone like 16 hours a day, Monday through Friday, and we only have one vehicle, which he has to take to work. Um, so it's kind of impossible for me to even get into a doctor because um, I have no vehicle and two toddlers that aren't allowed in the doctor's office. So I don't even know what to do about it. Um, besides just keep suffering. Cause I like, I don't know what it is. I wonder like gallbladder or I don't know what else is up there. Pancreas, isn't your pancreas up there? Cause it's like my upper abdomen area, like where my rib cage is. But then, like, my aunt was also telling me whenever I was in Tennessee about this thing that she went through that sounded similar. And it ended up being her, something with her diaphragm. It ended up being something with her diaphragm, like, being the wrong size for her body. And it was, like, compressing a nerve or something like that. Um, and she had to have, like, the nerve, something clipped or released. I don't really remember how she explained it, but, yeah, I just literally have no clue what it could be, and getting answers from a doctor takes a long time, and a lot of, like, persistence, and probably multiple appointments, and stuff that Mommy. I just can't do. Mom. I wrote on this thing, trying to come up with a um, better system for housework because I've kind of just been winging it since we moved in here and it's not working and I need something more like structured so I did this which is kind of confusing because this board technically isn't right so it's kind of like these things are supposed to match the days of the week so like the empty spot is Sunday then Monday then Tuesday then Wednesday and so on and so forth so like the idea was Sunday is rest day and then Monday is sweeping up, then Tuesday it's bathrooms, Wednesday it's playroom. Uh, do you get the idea? Um, Cause I wanted to do these things like weekly, but I wanted them to have specific days of the week, which I felt like it would be annoying to do over here. And then this is stuff that I want to do daily. This is just what I could think of so far. So I wrote these arrows to switch those. So it's currently Monday, which means today I should be sweeping and mopping. Mommy, what day is it? But now, he doesn't want to go back down. I just said it's Monday. Got him fed and changed again. He's currently in the swing. See how long he lasts in there as soon as he stopped eating and i was like getting ready to get up started feeling a little twingy again so hopefully it's just a fluke and it doesn't happen twice in one day so let's try and get some stuff done real quick before it's dinner time <laughs>
I think you're broken. He like never does the newborn scrunch. I don't know if he ever has done it. Why don't you do it? Why don't you scrunch? Oh goodness. Don't spit up on your fresh jammies, please. I wish you had more kite jammies. I like these. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Kite Baby, they need to hurry up with that otter print. <coughs> Mommy, move. I'll buy you an otter sleeper of <coughs> every size. I saw it. I'll go bankrupt doing it, but I don't care. Got your forehead wrinkles out, buddy. Say good night. Say good night. <laughs>